Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers, thank you for joining me today. Today I'm just bringing you a quick informative video, um, just really in regards to our fabulous new Big Shot embossing mats. Now you'll have all seen or had an opportunity to look through the new catalogue or any of the products or you've been through the online store um, and hopefully you will have noticed lots of new and exciting things um, and one of them is the Big Shot embossing mats. Um, they are fabulous, I think they're lovely um, and they give versatility to all of our thinlets and framelets so we do have now a lot more scope with them and I think that's fabulous. Um, when you get your pack you will get a blue and a grey silicone mat. Um, the blue one is very thin, the grey one is obviously a lot thicker um, and then you get the impressions embossing pad. Um, they're all Sizzix just as all of our big shop products are um, and they're they're relatively easy to use there is guides guidance just on the inside um, four different languages here um, and there's diagrams at the bottom too i'm going to show you just a couple of bits that i've been doing um, whilst i've been having a play with it and just to give you some idea and to get you started so um using the beautiful springtime impressions thinlets and we have this beautiful big butterfly here so I had a little play around um, I die cut him out just plain and simple with a magnetic platform just gave him a die cut and obviously he is beautiful um, and I then went on to emboss him with um, the blue thin embossing mat and the grey one, the thick one. Now you probably can't tell that much of a difference. Um, what I will say is that, I don't know if you can see here, there's a tiny, tiny bit of cracking on the card. So I did spritz them both, um, but I left this one just a minute longer, um, just to sort of let the water soak a little bit, and it has made a little bit of difference. But they're not cut through. They are embossed images. So from a die cut, we now have a beautiful embossed image. And again, if you if you wanted to, obviously you could use him to layer him up and you've got your embossed image underneath and then your die cut on the top. It gives us so much more versatility and so much more scope. Like I said, this is the one with the grey map, so it's a thicker and deeper impression. Now I did notice there are a couple of spots here, um, I don't know if you can see, that have just, just slowly, just there, just starting to um, um, uh, to die cut. But I think if you were to have that on a card and maybe you had a layer on the back or you used this as a layer, you know, you cut it out square and used it as a layer, then obviously you'd be able to see, you wouldn't see the die cutting and you would just see that beautiful embossing, but like I said, just fantastic that it gives you now versatility with our dies. So that's that one. I am going to use them, don't worry, in just one moment. So the next thing I'm going to show you then is from Nature's Roots Framelets. They're, this is another one of my all-time favourites. It has to be in my top three of favourite sweets. I just love it. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I enjoy being in the woods with my dogs. I don't know, but I, I do. I just love it. Um, you'll have seen the suite. I've used it a few times on cards and stuff as well and other projects. So you'll have seen me use it. Um, but what you will notice is that we have these three pieces here that are embossing pieces. Now, if you have a quick look in the catalogue, which I can now show you um, when I actually find the page that it's on. Let's, I tell you what, this will be a quick away. Uh, 142, there we go. Found the thinlets. So now I can find the sweet. So obviously there is the sweet. It is beautiful. It has everything in it that you would want. And if you go to the framelets page which on this one is 218 that's actually what I was going to show you my brain had gone for a moment if you have a look at our framelets now and thinlets at the back 
you will notice that we've got some random colouring boxes going on here and at the very bottom here in very small writing it tells you standard dyes the light green is detailed dyes and this pale blue so I suppose you'd say Pepper's as is detailed dyes Coastal Cabana is embossing dyes so you can actually emboss with these images so you will notice that we've got the eclectic layers that's one that obviously we use to emboss um, the bottles and bubbles lots of goodies build a bike so you can use them to emboss and that is what these three pieces are for here and they give fantastic results so let me show you so bringing in my big shot so you start off with your big shot platform then you need your clear plate then you need your die that you're going to emboss with and this time we're putting him face up towards us you then want your piece of cardstock that you're going to die cut so for me i using these leaves i cut them out already and this is a little bit of a fiddle until you get used to it so turn it the way you want the embossing to be so again this is sort of the wrong side of my card so I'm putting the correct side of my card face down. If you're just doing it anyhow, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to start off with my blue mat. Just lay it over the top. And then with my um, impression pad, I'm just going to run it through. And it is as simple as that. So let's take that one off take the blue one off whoops and there is my leaf embossed isn't that beautiful it has moved a little bit um there's no reason why you can't trim that bit or maybe hide it with another leaf <laughs> um so that's that one so let's bring it back this way because you perhaps can see a little better here so i'm going to do it again this time but i'm going to do it with the gray mat so pop my die on face up card on the top my gray mat goes on and then my impression mat and again we just oops we just run it through obviously this one is a little thicker so the reality is that we should oh crikey that's really moved we should get a deeper impression, but as luck would have it, it's one I made earlier. And so here is my um, one that I did earlier, which really isn't much better, with the grey mat, and this one is with the blue. So again, not a massive amount of difference, but I do think there is a little bit. There is just a little bit there. It's a little bit more detailed, a little bit more heavier, in the grooves I'm hoping that you can sort of make those out um, but I as I say I just think that they are divine and as I say using now being able to use our framelits and thinlets as well just to emboss is going to be fantastic can't wait to use it and try some more um, hopefully that was helpful for you um, I will come back with some more tutorials in the not so distant future um, with a few more pro the new products um, but hopefully that's been helpful if you want to get your hands on one or you're undecided whether or not to order them I would definitely order them and order them soon because I suspect they will go on back order because they will be very popular so hope to see you all again soon and I hope you have a great day bye <laughs>